So, ladies and gents, sorry I'm going fast, all right? Uh, we are catching up in a qualifier here. This is a big one. Two very big names, two players that know each other very well. And they are meeting each other rather early in the NAC qualifier. This is to qualify for Neely's Department Cup 5, which is in January. These guys might be in cast late, so we're going to practice the fast cast. I've almost finished my coffee. Let me just sip a little bit more. And we're now ready to go. We've got hard as the Byzantines. There's a hole in MBL's walls. MBL, though, fighting it off with villagers. There's trash units, which will be annoying to MBL, but still MBL was fighting to get those walls down. On the other side, MBL had some spearmen. The spearmen are regretting going forward. The spearmen are now going back forward, and Hart doesn't have units for that, but it doesn't really matter because it's a trash war. We're catching up to live time. I imagine they're in Castle Age, but they could be in the Imperial Age, and if they're in the Imperial Age, I hope I have more coffee because I don't have the energy to keep doing this. Um, just to, you know, finish a couple things about these players. Both of the quality to compete and qualify for NAC, in my opinion. Big loss there for Hart, though. You do not want to lose army numbers like that. Hart now making camels. Byzantines have the cheap camels. Gurjaras have the stronger camels. So, camel v. camel battle. I will not make a camel noise. Hart making TC in the north. And are we alive time? Ah, oh, this is so lame. I was actually committed. All right, well, we didn't miss that much. Uh, there was no eco damage. Res collected for those curious. Uh, MBLs collected a little bit more, which would make sense with the Gurjaras and the sheep in the mill at the start. MBL will expand down to the south to drop a second TC. And um, also, classic MBL moment, I've noticed he, he did get housed a bit. So, I, I, gen, it's a genuine concern with MBL. It always has been. If this were Hidden Cup right now, you would be guessing MBL because of it. But he's not going to have pop space in a second because Hart is going to completely overwhelm him with these camels. And skirmishers are not good against camels. Hart clears. And in a camel war, that is a bad... Well, yeah, that's it's just a bad sign. So... I, I'm a bit worried for MBL's Civ choice now, too, because, like, I mean, Elite Skirm felt like it didn't make a lot of sense there, first and foremost. But the other thing is, like, you don't get Pikemen as Gurjaras. So, losing your Camels there was worse than losing your Skirms. And Byzantines do get Pikemen. They also get Halp. And Hart has had the better start. And he will actually TC the south here as well, so he's really expanded. And also in a camel where it's very difficult to damage the opponent's eco, so it's kind of just like, at what rate are you controlling the map and expanding your eco? And heart is in a superior spot. Uh, Ledson, thanks for the thanks for the prime. So predictions chat. Obviously, right now, uh, heart is winning this. But but what are your predictions? Um, I haven't seen the maps of the draft yet, but I think heart has been playing really clean games. Um, I think, I think Hart will win this one 3-2. That's my prediction. And I think, um, with the map pool and the maps that I've seen, there's not that many chaotic maps. Uh, it's all pretty straightforward. There's, there will probably be some surprises here or there, right? But I have yet to see any, like, potential for some real big brain plays or, or like, wacky stuff, which I think NBL could thrive in a little bit more. So, um, I think Hart's playing Amazing Age of Empires right now. Also, I think both players have a pretty healthy mindset on, um, on, on like, the situation at hand. Neither player seemed, like, super disappointed that they're up... I mean, I'm sure they were initially disappointed when they were up against each other in what I think is the second round here. Uh, but they were like, hey, whatever happens, happens. It's a bad matchup, obviously, for us. But, one of you know, if I lose, my friend moves on and uh, the winner deserves to move on, right? So there will be a second qualifier, of course, for whoever loses here. Lazy Lawyer says, 3-0 heart possible. Mark my words. Lazy Lawyer, you do have lazy in your name, so maybe it's fitting, but you can't be like, mark my words and say something's possible. You gotta be more, like, definite than that. Hart will win 3-0, 100%. Mark my words. That, that's, that's backing your words a little bit more, you know? You gotta be more assertive. But you are a lazy lawyer, so it's like... <laughs> lazy Lawyer... Can't, wait, can you tell me, are you a lawyer? <laughs> Because, like, 
<laughs> I, I have a lot of lazy lawyer jokes come, came to mind right now. <laughs> it's a lazy prediction, exactly. But yeah, like Hart is in a position now where I'm finding it hard to find a way for MBL to turn this around because he doesn't get Pikeman. He is trying to hide the fact he's got Spearman. There's MBL getting housed again. Classic. I am a lawyer, and I am lazy as well. Okay, so is that like lazy on filing the paperwork on time? Or is that like when you're in the courthouse, you're like late? Or, or are you like slouching, and you're not very professional? Like, can you basically describe to the thousands of people here right now why they shouldn't reach out to you for support? <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm being... <laughs> this is a camel war. I got to talk about something. <laughs> Company lawyer. Oh, okay. So you're lazy, but you get paid the big bucks there. Okay. We get it. Company lawyer. Oh, okay. All right. Got it. That makes sense. That makes sense. Well, one stable just went down for MBL, which means fewer camels. Arch is attacking the next stable, and he sees the spearman. And, you know, Spears, they still do bonus damage against Camels. So it is something to kind of worry about. MBL's trying to find a way out of this hole. And it's kind of tricky. Because Byzantine Camels are so cheap. Dang. I like how Legless Alex just gifted, give this sub to Lazy Lawyer. He's like, you know what? He earned it. Thank you for that. Camels pulling back. Hart could go up to the Imperial Age. It's cheaper for the Byzantines. MBL needs a big flood of army. Hart is trying to produce all this, this switch on the front. MBL, please do not get pop capped on 125 pop, dude. Please, please don't. Like, big flood of armies coming. At least I assume you're going to. Okay, he's made a house somewhere. It actually makes me paranoid for him when I watch him now. Last time, I uh, I think I was casting with MBL, and he was like, you know, he's like, you know what the best thing Dowd is, is, is good at avoiding is, like, not getting housed. And I made a joke about how he gets pop cap, And he was like, how do I change that, T90? How do I change that? And I gave him some tips, but he has been playing the game for a decade. So if it's still a thing, it might just always be a thing. But he's making the houses now. Castle from heart here. He's got good vision. Not bad. That's really good vision. Oh, this is super smart. So he now knows, you know, this is going to be his focus area. Honestly, I know he's got a nice lead right now, but I would have loved to castle here. Like, there's no way. MBL's not going to see that. Look at MBL's vision. Dropping the castle there would be really good with Byzantines. Like we said, Hart's crossbow transition is kind of in this, this area. So, he doesn't really get the units he wants, but it is just Spearman, guys. It is not Pikeman. If, if there was Pikeman, it'd be a different fight, and Hart is going to clear this. MBL does use the Skirms against some of the crossbows. He does try and kill some monks, but nope, not going to happen. And Hart clears that up. The Camel's still too strong against the Spear. And, I mean, if you're making Spearman... For those that aren't that familiar with the Gurjaras, like, compare it to having to fall back to Spearman with the Turks, for example. It's the same scenario. The only two civs that don't get that. Uh, Pikeman upgrade. And MBL's not on the way to Imp. I mean, Hard is just going to completely smash him here in the first game. <clears throat> Are the Brazilians the best at not getting housed because they house well the whole map? Um, I would say... A lot of the classic Brazilian pros are known for that, yes. Fire and Dogal and Miguel are known for going for big house walls. Um, so, you know, you, you'll see that a little bit more from them. But I would say that, like, the majority of pros are really good at not getting pop capped. Like, even MBL is better than 95% of players. It's just, hey, there are critical moments for him sometimes. It, it's just, it's also, like, part of his reputation, right? So it's like you kind of expect it. Where like it's like doubt. If he's micring with crossbows, you're like, oh shoot, this could be bad. But then more often than not, his crossbow micro is great. It's just like because it's part of his reputation, we we kind of expect bad things. That said, MBL's house now. Oh, pfft, I take it back. 
He's housed again. But, I mean, he's super dead here. It's a really bad situation. The crossbows melt the camels that he has. Hearts and imp. MBL, like, kind of cuts some of this off and is going to force the fight before the upgrades get worse. But that's a bad fight. And a really good start for Heart. Like, and it really all comes back, I think, to, to Heart's Castle Age. Sorry we sped up through the start, but we're here now for the series. This Heart's Castle Age and Heart's Eco. Um, he was up a little bit faster, prioritized only camels. MBL prioritized Elite Skirm. Actually, Elite Skirm was super weird. Looking back at it. Can I go back? What's the... Okay, so... What was the uptime difference in the whole game again? I looked at Feudal like an idiot. Okay, Castle Time wasn't that different. Let me go back. Because we were speedy. MBL made a lot of skirms. I guess it's because he saw skirms from Hart and he wanted to outnumber him with skirms. Yeah, Hart just switched double stable. Yeah, MBL also invested into the upgrades on the skirms. So he got like... Fletching, he got Bodkin Arrow, he got all of that, and all those skirms got wiped. So that was that was basically the game. Um, it was kind of a boring game in terms of units, camels and skirms, fun, fun, fun. But uh, if your heart, you want boring today, you want smooth, you want you want the tiny little details, and you got it right there. Here we are, game two, heart MBL. A uh, little bit of speed here, but no fast casting for the rest of the series, hopefully. And yet again, we have Vietnamese on Arabia. Uh, I say yet again because we had just covered Vivi versus Dogao. That was their game five, the only game we saw from the series. And uh, Vietnamese looked really strong. Curious to see what the map den looks here is like here as well. Because I did feel like the map was a bit unfair in that game. This one, to me, feels very fair in terms of the openness. Um... And, 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 you know, the difficulty level. So, MBL has gone for the Vikings. Which is not a civilization that's that comfortable to play with on Arabia these days. Like, I don't think I put Vikings in my top 10 for Arabia. And I think Vietnamese might squeeze in there for me. So, to pick Vikings down a game. It shows MBL's maybe saving some civilizations for future games. Or does actually value the Vikings... Uh, very highly. I know he's always done some interesting things. Like, he, he's always gone scouts with Vikings over the years, which is a little uncommon for an infantry sieve. But he likes it the way the eco flows with free wheelbarrow, so I think that's probably what he's thinking. I also think that's probably what Hart is thinking, as that is going to be really common. Um, Dark Age builds, probably out of the question for nine villager starts. Going to see a lot of scout openings, a lot of archer openings in this tournament on the lands map. Uh, thank you, Ozone. Can you please edit out the space in Hart's name? Yes. Uh, someone pointed this out to me and it has bothered me ever since. So now I'm just going to manually do it. I don't know if anyone has spoken to him about that. But there you go. He's the only one on AM who has the space. So either everyone has to adopt the space or no one need, no one should have the space. <laughs> it's the tiny details, you know? <laughs> okay. MBL goes for the stable. We have the stable as well. Now, you get wheelbarrow for free with the Vikings. It's instant, so that's helpful. Villagers are a bit speedier. Obviously, carry a little bit more with the farms and all that. Um, Vietnamese, though, cheaper researching eco upgrades. Uh, sorry, cheaper eco upgrades and also faster researching, so... It's pretty realistic the Vietnamese can compete economically. And I would say that the army is really awkward as well. Like Vietnamese, solid archers. Um, they have the superior archers. They also have the cav archer option, which is really strong. Vikings have good archers, but they don't have great archers. Lacking thumb ring. And in this case, lacking HP compared to the opponent. If the situation is to go knights, Vikings don't get bloodlines. Vikings lack armor in the long term. You're really not going to see a lot of Viking knights. It's just like, the Vikings have good eco, but on land, awkward army, unless they're going infantry. And infantry can be kind of tricky to find, you know, opportunities with on Arabia, but MBL wants to maybe get things started via eco. Doesn't get the vil pick there. 
well-timed defense there from Hart. I do like as well how he's going for the full walls. And he's playing like a player who feels as though as long as he doesn't make mistakes, his sieve should transition very nicely. Viking have good arbs, though. They have good arbalest if they build a castle and if they spend a thousand resources to get an extra attack. Otherwise, they have inferior arbalest because of the lack of HP and the lack of thumb ring. So it is very big. That is a big commitment just to like kind of feel even on archers. That's my feeling on it. But yes, obviously there and then like elite berserks can be very strong as well. But again, you're, you're kind of falling back towards the castles. So I'm just kind of explaining my thought process on how I see the matchup. MBL needs to utilize that eco in this game. And they're... Oh my god, the Spearman didn't hit. That was super weird. And MBL trying to get damage here. Heart defends. Here, Heart's trying to get damage. MBL defends. MBL loves his Spearman. He's got six Spearmen with a seventh on the way. And it is a common talking point amongst pros that MBL makes too many Spearmen. In the first game, he made too many Skirms. I have a very vivid memory of sitting in the back room at one of the Red Bull events. I forget if it was uh, the first Castle Land or the second Castle Land. And I'm sitting there, and it's uh, it's me, Viper, Leary, and Hera. And uh, so they get... It, MBL was playing somebody, I don't know who. And gets into the game, and I think Leary makes a comment, like, what in the world is going to do with whatever Civ MBL played? And Viper goes, he'll probably go Spears and Skirms. And he said it jokingly. <laughs> and then I remember them us all dying when MBL ended up going Spears and Skirms. <laughs> um, like, five minutes later. <laughs> He's making a lot of Spears, dude. Like, so many. And if you're wondering, like, why not a lot of Spearmen? There's Scouts. Well, there's only two Scouts. It's a crazy amount of Spearmen, and it's spending a lot of food and wood on a unit. It doesn't... If it doesn't help you, it could delay your cast leaves. That's kind of the idea. And Hart's going to have archers now. Hart did lose two of his scouts. We haven't had any eco kills in this game. Here comes the Spearman army, folks. And MBL adding more scouts to deal with the archers right now. <laughs> He's just such a an interesting player, man. <laughs> I love the walls from Hart. And uh, Hart's wheelbarrow isn't free, but his eco balance is looking perfect. He researches wheelbarrow very quickly because the techs research faster. Another thing you associate with MBL would be the egg walls. Uh, in all fairness to him, though, the walling to the edge of the map seems kind of awkward for him at the moment. And Hart spent food on scouts, but otherwise has made, I think, reasonable spearman numbers is mainly spending wood and gold on archers, is going into double range, and so here comes MBL with the skirms. MBL's got a ton of Feudal Age army here. He needs to take a decent trade against Hart to feel good about his situation, because Hart will click up to Castle Age faster, most likely. Okay, so how many of you guys here have watched The Hidden Cup? Some of you guys, right? I've said that one's coming in 2024. I've given no other details, all right? I really enjoy when MBL's in a hidden cup. It is like, he's just like one of those personalities, and he's got such distinct styles, man, where it's just so fun to look for him, you know? <laughs> it's just like, like this game, man. The, the spears and the skirms, and it's just such a perfect example. <laughs> But, you know, he does have uh, an army which can make it awkward for Hart to press out. This is where um, this is where I feel as though MBL's army addition really helps him. Because he has good control of the map. He has good map presence. So it's like Hart, Hart wants to use his advantage now, but Hart runs into some resistance. And MBL scouts looping away from this. Hart sensing that to a degree, I think. And Hart still advancing forward. MBL skirms, looking to pounce. Yeah, Hart does sense the scouts are over there. 
So here comes the archer. You've got spears going down. Spears aren't important here, unless you're MBL. You, you want to go for those archer's kills before they're upgraded to crossbowmen. And not really the best engagement here for MBL. In fact, that's that's pretty bang on average. Also, maybe was looking over here. Heart super well defended, too. Killed two of the scouts. Played very well. But, you know, again, it's like the positioning of the archers. They're kind of coming home right now because there's a worry for Hart that he could lose these. But back to the eco, back to the options, it's like... I, I, someone asked me if I had biases earlier, right? T90, do you have biases? I have... I explain my biases, right? And I feel Vikings are not good on Arabia. And I made that very clear. It's just, is the eco good enough? That's my feeling. I'm not really sure it is, but MBL picked them, and MBL plays Arabia, like, 24-7. So a lot of confidence in them, perhaps, and he's going to go for that boom, and boom in defense is something MBL's really good at. He goes for Elite Skirm, he goes for Bodkin. He falls back with decent TC positions, this to protect the wood line. Doesn't actually protect the gold, but then again, not really creating that much, that cost gold at the moment, if he's going to be making Skirms. He made his Spearman, he made his Skirms. MBL hasn't lost a Villager. We should credit him for that. And it's going to be hard for Hearts Knight to accomplish too much if MBL sits close to his base here. And TC completed there for MBL. A monastery from MBL to use some Monks to possibly convert some of these Knights if they get too close. But MBL under pressure here. Are the dates for Hidden Cup hidden as well? Yes, they are. <laughs> the, the dates for Hidden Cup is hidden. <laughs> I love Heart's play, man. Like, it is... Heart is so close to textbook for land maps right now, it's insane. Like, it's why that he, he should be in a really good position skill-wise to be able to qualify for this event. The The thing I'd be curious on is, like... The hybrid maps. The, the the mixed maps, the closed maps. If it's an Arabia style map, Hart could beat anybody. Um, but you know, those other maps we haven't seen it yet. Like game one was pretty straightforward lands map. That's MBL strengths too, which is kind of a tricky thing for MBL in this matchup. But Hart with the forward siege workshop, he's really gonna apply pressure, and it's not gonna be easy for MBL to stop the siege from snowballing on him. He'll have to try and use the knights to take out the siege. But Hart will still have the crossbows and his own knights nearby here, right? I think Hart is close to top 10 right now. Um, I mean, Warlords was a good example of that in Mixed Map, right? And he did lose three rounds in a row, right? I think I, I think it's fair to say he's very close. Like, there, I think Hart's a good example of the results aren't necessarily proving that yet, but the skill level does. I, but results, he's not top 10. Uh, mixed map tournaments would be... He, he's got to step it up and, and play on some of those different maps, right? But Hart is, is such a good player. Right now, he needs to break MBL. And MBL, arguably the best defensive player in the game. He's got lots of skirms. He's got monks. And he's just a couple good hits with the skirms and a couple conversions with the monks away from clearing up this whole push. And he has Viking Eco here, folks. He's also really heavy on stone. Can you imagine this? A clear up into a full, like, forward castle play from MBL. Castle here. Even a defensive castle could be really good. Hmm. MBL's made enough knights to help himself against the mangoes as well. Usually the player here in this position wants their own monks to convert any knights back. Or heal, which is not happening. Heart only 2 TC, but he's putting a lot more focus on the, the pressure then. And we could just be a moment away from MBL being completely slaughtered. MBL's got two monks here. They need to get conversions or he's screwed. Heart backs away. Heart takes out the Mangano on a monk. Loses one of his knights. Could kill that though. With his crossbows. MBL blocking it. Gets the kill. Used the skirms. Used everything very nicely there. 
But it just still feels like MBL's one big shot from losing everything here. And he has never had army control. It's the same thing as the previous game. Good shot from MBL, but that monk can't get a conversion right now, so it will die. And the skirms will die. Ah, uh, but Hart getting really close to all of this. Yeah, he backs away. Well, no, he doesn't. He's going in. Just so much pressure all the time here from Hart. You know what I'm, I'm seeing, though, which gives MBL a shot? Hart has put a lot of his focus on that micro. Look at that wood count. So he, he... These are the moments where you, like, add the TCs, you add the farms, and do all that stuff. But MBL's been three town centers. And MBL's got good food eco. He's still alive. And res collected, just the full balance breakdown. MBL's collected more food and wood. Obviously collected more stone. Felt like if Hart had three more knights there... Oh, that's a huge shot. If Hart had three more knights there, another big shot, maybe. Hart could have gone for a full clear. MBL counterattacking with two knights. I really like this move. It'll distract Hart from the push, and it does. That's really good from MBL. Those, those is like... It's like, you know, the best form of defense is offense, right? Like, that's kind of an example of it. And now MBL can stabilize and drop a castle. MBL has the villager lead. Still in my mind, I'm thinking options. It's not going to be knights. It's not going to be skirm monk as your long term here. Well, actually skirmisher. Skirmisher, if you're an imp faster, is actually still a pretty realistic option. MBL needs this. MBL has reverse swept big names before. for some famous results, but usually he's a confidence player, as is anyone. <clears throat> and when the level's this high... You lose the first two. You lose on your home map. Uh, things are not going to be looking good for you, so he needs this one. And MBL's going to click up to the Imperial Age. And he has a pretty sizable mass of Skirms. He's adding more ranges. And Skirms do well against crossbows. That is the Imp TC? Only just MBL things. <laughs> I, I, I wonder what happened there. Because usually your first TC is the first TC you click Imp in. I, I mean, he could lose this, guys. If he doesn't realize and repair this, he could lose this. Uh, I don't know if that was something he, he really thought about. Or if it just kind of happened here. Again, I love the outposting from Hart. And Hart still hasn't clicked up yet. This is where patience with MBL and how MBL spends his stone is important. I feel like what you want is you want this hill or this hill, right? Um, and, and Hart's currently got a lot of buildings there and a lot of reason why you shouldn't advance that direction. I don't think MBL knows that's his MTC. He doesn't know. That is four mangonels on his MTC. It's halfway down. He's not repairing it. MBL's not going to make it to him. Oh, MBL. Oh, geez. And he lost his Manganel there. He's got this one. Like, basically, Hart's not going to assume that's the MTC either. So if MBL's defense and resistance is good enough... Okay, now MBL is repairing it. But it's still super close. I think repairs should buy just enough time. And he even sacrifices a knight or two, and he'll be fine, I think. Because, again, Hart doesn't know. He might see some repairs and think about it, but, like, it could just be a normal repair. Great Mangonel Micro from, from both players here, though. All right, calculated, right? People often say MBL's got the best Mangonel Micro in the game. Hart out would him pretty nicely there, but he did have a numbers advantage. And MBL is now getting Bracer for his Skirms. And he's going to move out with Skirms. If MBL were to run forward right now and deny this castle, that would be so crazy. Here he comes. No ballistics for MBL. Felt like he had a long time to get that on the way to the Imperial Age. That's a detail that is, is really important here. And he seems very preoccupied with trying to clear this up. Because this is a problem. This is his gold. This is his stone. And this is giving Hart time at home. That's a good castle from Hart to place. Hart will go for Elite Skirm now. 
Hearts Micro continues to be really good. Uses the Knights against the Mangonel. Has to keep his crossbows alive. MBL, no ballistics. He's missed a lot of his volleys. That could be kills. And he has to deal with the Mango now. MBL, Skirm Micro. We know he's going to make more. He's going for the hits. Heart gets some big shots, though. And there's still no ballistics. If Hart's actually microing with his units properly as well, that a lot of these shots are not going to hit. And it just feels like MBL is still overwhelmed with Hart's presence here. And Hart's going to have the time to go for the superior army options, which we've been talking about since the start. And ballistics is on the way for MBL now, but that was kind of his window, right? Vietnamese have the superior ranged units in this matchup. MBL still alive, still has some time until Hart gets those imp upgrades, though. It's just the Mangonels have done so much to, to stop MBL from being able to breathe here. Ooh, that's an interesting castle, Hart. But, I mean, this hill is so valuable. I think this is a castle that Hart doesn't place. Granted, he took significant breaks from the game. Hart doesn't place this castle, let's say, nine months ago. I don't know how long he's been back on his grind exactly. That is actually a really nice castle. Because it, it, it feels risky, but feels like if you don't castle there, MBL might. Yeah. MBL just queued chemistry and then ballistics instead of ballistics and then chemistry. It's arguable whether or not ballistics would have actually made that big of a difference. It was just notable to mention. Vietnamese get Imperial Skirm. MBL is going to try and force a castle down here. Hart could just treb that from this side. MBL doesn't know that. Hart's castle is going to go up here. Population close. No relics for Hart. Hart not convincing me because he's not making a treb here. And maybe this is maybe this is a chance for MBL. MBL's got trebs coming from both castles. Hart still doesn't have one. That's wild. Still inferior skirms, man. Oh my god. Wait, I thought MBL was getting Bracer. Wait. What happened there? Did MBL lose his blacksmith when he was getting Bracer? He's making a new blacksmith. Oh, shoot. I did not realize that. Sorry, chat. I saw someone mention something about no blacksmith, but I thought like he lost it later. Because I saw Bracer coming in. That timing is rough. And that had a big effect in that fight. I, I, you know, I was assuming, and he was assuming he had it. And it just comes back to Hart's pressure, right? Really nice pressure from Hart. Really weird to me how Lady was adding the trebs here, in all honesty. But I think he wants to rely mainly on Bombard Cannons, which is also understandable. So he is going to probably lose this castle, but he is adding Bombard Cannons in the middle. And still has, like, really good positions in, in the long term here. Um, good. His castle spot on the left is going to end up being really good. Like, way better as a defensive castle than MBL's ever was. MBL's got his trebs moving forward now into a bomb and into Mangonel's, because he clicked these trebs against the treb from Hart. But Vikings also don't get bomb cannon. And, you know, I, I definitely a situation where I don't like to be proven right here, because we wanted five games from this series. But definitely does feel like MBL's sieve. He, di he didn't give himself... He never had control this game, you know? And is that down to, you know, the play style? Is that down to the options? I think maybe a mix of both. But Hart picked a great sieve. It's a great matchup. Paper money now, too. So he gets some gold income from chopping trees. And if Hart wants to mix in Cav in this skirm war, he can always justify doing so. MBL just... Fighting uphill against Imperial Skirmisher with regular Skirmisher. And there is, you know, no treb, no amount of treb luck in the world that could help you win this scenario. And he calls the GG. Look at the difference in Skirm number created there. Woof. And that really, to me, doesn't even come back to the Skirms being stronger for Heart. That comes back to Heart's Mangonels. Heart's siege pressure was so huge here, man. It helped against... Uh, MBL expanding out in Castle Age. It made MBL, you know, put MBL under pressure. It also then provided some coverage and protection for his army while MBL, uh, when MBL hit the Imperial Age a lot faster. Part up 2-0 here. 
And Heart is looking very clean. I wonder what MBL's home map is. Is it a map that is going to take Heart out of his comfort zone? Because map number one and Heart map number two, very Arabia-like. And maybe Heart's the superior Arabia player between the two of them. But, you know, Heart certainly going to be feeling good about this. Again, will MBL start the, the beginnings of something special here? We'll see. But, uh... Not convinced with Vikings, man. It's still... It just it just feels bad. You know, I guess when you lose with them, it's always going to look bad, but not a big fan. Here we are, game three, and let's see if it's comeback time for MBL here in this best of five. Uh, this is definitely a map where I wouldn't think that Hart would be super comfortable. But I was talking earlier. This map, Copenhagen, is like a regicide fortress start. But there's water. And there's two different areas of water. And I said earlier that I think Portuguese might be one of the very best civs. Because Portuguese have... They could do, like, everything, right? Um, people are calling this pants. I'm happy for you guys to call Copenhagen pants as long as you don't call bay pants in the future. Can we call... Can we make a deal on that? Alright? Someone said pants with pockets. Or jorts. Or something. Yeah, okay, we'll call this pants now. We all agree? Perfect, perfect. Okay, so, but listen, Portuguese have more HP on their ships. There's going to be ships here. Uh, yeah, they get wood from berries. Okay, there's berries, woo. Um, <laughs> um, they're great fast castle sieve, if you want to go into, like, monks, which we'll see. Um, organ guns is a great unique unit, and you start with a castle. The Portuguese feel very strong here. This build order from heart, though... Uh, keep in mind, nine villager start. Again, players are streamlining things pretty quickly on these nine villager starts, typically. But heart goes up really quick. I mean, Malay for MBL, he does advance faster to the next stage, which is fun. They're a great water sieve. They are a good closed map civilization with the booms. But, like, I think the Portuguese options are arguably a bit better, just, like, mainly because of the organ gun and the ship HP. But this is nothing like the previous game. Where I am questioning the pick. Malay is a solid pick as well for MBL. I wonder how many times MBL practiced this. Because, like, Hart clearly came in here with some type of a practice build. Also, scouting with his king right now. King is faster than the scout in Dark Age. So, MBL... He's kind of freaking me out with his king just chilling over here, not moving. But assuming he sees hearts in feudal age, he should leave. Hart is actually healing up his scout in his TC, uh, sorry, castle, because he used his scout to bring in that boar. But like, this is all designed around going double dock to win water here. And meanwhile, MBL is actually fishing here. So it's kind of interesting. Very, like, fast feudal water build here from Hart. Uh, T90, a bit unrelated. Are you going to be in Germany for the finals? I would say that's fairly related. <laughs> yeah, um, I will be at NAC5. And I will be, uh, at the meetup. So, we have a meetup command. It's NAC meetup. If you're in and around Germany, uh, myself and the, and Nili and the other casters and players will be there. NBL brings his king home. Somehow that king leaps over the wall. But yeah, I will be there. Uh, I forget what I fly out. I think I fly out the 5th or the 6th of January. And I'll be home like the 15th or something, so. The King for Hart's still out here. And <laughs> I don't know if Hart's trying to bait MBL to come get it or what. But ooh, Hart is walking this way and there's a wolf that could deny this. Still no loom for Hart. Oh, this is so sick. This is so smart from MBL. Look at this. He pulled, He knew he'd lose this. So he sent it that way and bought himself some time at home. But then again, there's no more fish there. So I don't... <laughs> I don't know what that accomplished. MBL will see this dock. Still no loom for hard. It's on the way. And oh, this could be so good for MBL. This could be so good. I, I, just a couple extra hits. This is really nice for him. Because he could still kill the other villager now that its loom is in. Oh, kill the scout. Uh, villager war. Galley's on the way from MBL. That dock will not go up. 
Well, he could boop it a bunch. Sometimes you'll see players click a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, er, 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 er. Build it, build it, build it, build it, build it, build it faster, build it faster. Hit the hammer. Boom, 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 boom. Why'd the galley stop firing? Oh, it's denied at 95%. Wow, that was close. And, you know, oftentimes what happens there is like, Hart's always going to lose that vill, right? But if the villager gets the dock up in the last second, then MBL is behind on water because it's a incoming fire galley against the galley. So denying that dock and the play to go galley just massive for MBL. Also killed Heart Scout as well. So, uh, you know, MBL doesn't want to give Heart the free fish boom. Sorry for all the dinging, by the way. That's just what happens with the docks. Um, Heart has five fishing ships over here. MBL is going to have four here. That's good for MBL. He adds another dock here, which Hart does not see. And Hart will probably see the flag, knowing that MBL will come back on water. So very nicely played from MBL. Oh, shoot. MBL's trying to wall this dock in. He did partially wall it. Ooh. Oh, and MBL noticed this. I mean, that doesn't need many more hits. I didn't realize he was partially walling that in. That is super smart. That is really smart. Obviously, the scout can't really contribute to the fights. So you probably don't need the scout there, but... Yeah, I mean, I wonder if, like, it's worth it for MBL... Now that this is walled in... To just make another dock here just to get vision on it because you're Malay. Because you're in the dark there, right? And then just focus over here. MBL will definitely be in Castlage faster based on the resources I'm seeing. And yeah, so this is like, uh, it's kind of Regicide Fortressy, but I expect lots of heavy water plays throughout the entirety of, of games on this. Like, you can't, you can't give up on water at all. I don't think it's worth it. At least most of the best players are going to see it that way. Why wall from the inside? Uh, walling from the inside makes sense because the opponent could have some army, right? Like Spearman plus the Villager could kill you. MBL just... I think he's going to dock here. But, I mean, he does. he's not too worried. He is the fish. It's also like the priority is just not allowing the opponent's dock up. So I think with where his Villager was positioned, having to reposition it would have been a bit awkward. Big demo hit. Hoping to connect here for MBL or not. It actually doesn't connect. And he's going to be up to Castle Age soon, so he should have the advantages with the upgrades, but does lose some ships there, and well played from Hart to stabilize. And always tough against Portuguese, though, because they've got the extra HP on their ships. They've got cheaper gold units. They get wood from berries. They have extra HP on their ships. They have the organ gun. They have the Fatoria. They have the Caravel. <laughs> this, this civilization is, like, is very good in all settings. MBL reaches Castle Age, making a transport. Why? Why now? <laughs> Is he thinking about the relics here already? That's interesting. The transport ship is not something I expected. Where are we going to go to? A war galley upgrade coming in. So this will upgrade the ships. Hart would love a big demo right now. MBL, you got to have your ship spread out. They've split up here. They're going different directions. Smart move. That's what he needed. And big demo could come in. Ever the timing is going to be perfect. Hart cannot leave without running into a demo. MBL's baiting him hard. Work alley upgrades in. Big demo coming. And there it is. And it does connect decently. And boom! Well, it was all right. The good micro from Hart. Another demo. Boom! There we go. And this demo you honestly don't use. This demo is a as a bait. And yeah, Hart will trade one for one. Hart has had five fishing ships behind this. MBL's had six, which is good. MBL's making the monastery here. Hmm, I'm torn on this. Okay, so here's my question. Chat, let's say you're MBL. You do this. Do you take the relics home and make a new monastery? Or do you uh, keep the relics here? I think I know what everyone's going to say. 
Obviously, right now, MVL wants these as quickly as possible. He knows that Hart will eventually come over here with something. Someone says you just keep them there. You just castle there. Okay. Takes too long to bring them home. Safe here. Okay. All right, cool. Yeah, I think it is more realistic for a player to just get them fast. And then later, the correct play is to move them. But right now, you got to focus on other things. So, good call. Yeah, I think like trying to ask him to just wander home and do all that while adding eco is a bit tricky. Which, by the way, MBL needs horse collar and he needs to start transitioning into farms. Noticing he built this TC, he's not producing bills out of it. So the multitasking, getting the best of him a little. But obviously MBL with a nice little lead now. He can't complain about that. Hart adds TC number two outside of his walls. But he's not really under a lot of threat right now, Hart. To uh, against like units from the melee. Oh, that could have been really good. And MBL's demo does connect. Just so many things for them to look at right now. Uh, Hosh, thanks for the uh, 21 months, by the way. We're creeping back up to the 4K subs. Crazy stuff. Yeah, also, there's six relics. There's uh, three in the middle. And then there's three on the water. I, I think... No, it's seven, actually. I think Hart might have one. I thought it was five to two last time I saw this map. I think it's seven and I'm missing one. But yep, farming tech came in for MBL. Two TCs, good stuff. Hart is making organ guns, and this is the unit that is going to be difficult for MBL to find an answer to. Um... It's great again. What's good against it now would be like mangonels. But it is a siege weapon, so you would need to get redemption to convert them, for example. And uh, something like a Karambit warrior, which is the only other military unit you can make out of this castle, for example, is very low HP and weak against gunpowder. So the organ gun kind of uh, cancels the Karambits out of the equation, though Karambits, I think, are underrated against like gunpowder in some ways because like people were like oh it's it's a, a very small tiny infantry dude against gunpowder that has a bonus but while that's true you can make a lot of them and they're really fast Ooh, mbl's fishing economy can be ranged by organs and mbl is also making a tc here just pretty wild because he does have gold here he could have stayed in his base MBL is actually making some of the Karambit Warriors. All right. Water engagement's continuing to happen. Nice micro from Hart, but still gets hit by the demos. I think Hart can live with the fact he's had the five fishing ships this long. You almost have to continue to fight on water. Uh, Man, if only MBL had a demo right now. Uh, but I feel like if you had... um. Uh, what, are, what are the words I'm looking for? Um, oh, if you're up against the Malay, I feel like you feel obligated to never give up water because they can do the basically unlimited fish traps. Yeah, Filthy Hippie. This map and a couple others were brought in. I, I don't know if this is brand new. I think this was played in, in another tournament. I can't remember the name. But this is not a map you would have seen me cast before, and it hasn't been that common in other events. It's very nice. I don't think there was a map contest for new maps for this event, but a lot of maps were brought in from around the community. All right, so, you know, Karambit's kind of got the job done. Uh, and the fires, too. MBL still has a nice eco lead, and this is the type of game MBL would have wanted, right? It's the first time in this series he he's had control. I'm noticing Hart. He's got 32 on wood with 11 on food. That's got to be farmers for him. So maybe just struggling with the balance. But this is also the, the first time as the Krambits will get shredded here. It's also the first time that Hart hasn't had a standard lands map in this series. You know, it's like, this is definitely very different from the first two games. I think that plays its role. Oh god, there's, there's ships stacked there. Oh jeez, that was huge. Hit three ships. Next one's gonna boom them. Yep, there we go. And Hart also just now adding TC number three. I, I do feel like, yeah, Hart just really hasn't been able to find a way to have things go right in this game. 
now you should start moving those relics, maybe, right? Is that too crazy? MBL's gonna add a siege workshop. That seems smart. No real action through the middle right now. Organ guns and monks from Heart, and Heart sees that monastery. Tidebreaker with the primes. This is 290 Prime. I thought about having like a soundboard thing with the Twitch Prime video. Twitch or doom, T buggy, Twitch Prime. I haven't played that video since I came back on Twitch. I gotta add those videos this week, I think. <laughs> For my breaks and whatnot. <laughs> Good old zesty. Can the relic sink? Uh, no. If if you have a monk with a relic inside of a transport ship and the transport ship goes down... I actually always forget this because it has changed at times, but it either goes to the closest piece of land or it goes back to the land it started on. I think it's the closest piece of land, but I definitely in my brain have memories of both. A lot of that was from like pre-definitive edition 2, so it's it's... I'm not actually sure what happens. All right, anyways, farming eco from heart's gone up, but MBL's on the way to wimp! And, oh uh, man, this is... I mean, if MBL could get a castle here in imp, it's over. It's just done. But that's a lot of organs. And redemption is coming in for heart so he can convert the siege, which is really, like, the only main counter to the organ guns. Everything else dies to them. Maybe condos could be good. There's MBL's castle. Oh, man, dude. And MBL doesn't know Redemption is in yet. There's been no warning. Nice shots from MBL. The monks have to make their way in there. This is giving time for the builders of the castle. And MBL's going to sacrifice the Karambits so just so the monks can't get conversions. No, he's not. Yes, he is. No, he's not. Yes, he is. And yeah, so it was just kind of like flirting with the idea of going forward, making Heart respect it, gets the castle up, and it's not, you know, as far forward as he would have wanted, but it protects this position. Can't really treb anything easily, because he still needs to protect the trebs, but um, I think he's just going to go full Karambits. Like a lot of pros who felt like the Malay were super, super strong when, when the devs gave them instant armor, a lot of pros were like, why? Why are we doing that? Because, like, it's a timing sieve, right? And now they don't have to wait for those upgrades. They don't have to spend resources for those upgrades. And MBL, not having to wait any longer, really. He's got the full armor. He's got 21 Karambits. He's got the Mangonels. And he has confidence he can just push his timing now. It's a really good option for the... You know, not an option, but it's a really good thing as MBL kills his own units for the Karambit Warriors to just have that armor instantly. MBL's got to be careful here, though. I don't know if that armor helps against the organ guns. And, ooh, a couple units get converted. A couple Karambits die. And MBL now going for a castle. Now, this is what he wanted. He wanted a castle somewhere close where he could protect his trebs with it. <laughs> Someone says 21 Karambits sounds like a band from the early 2000s. That's amazing. I would see the 21 Karambits live. Let's go. <laughs> Oh, man. Um, and luckily enough for MBL, as he continues to attack this house and damage his own units in the process, Hart has made a castle right here. And this hurts for Hart because Hart, you know, he before he was boxing everything out and it was completely fine. He, this this castle is going to defend him from the Karambits. No problem. But now he has to kind of try and deal with that Treb. And can he do that easily? It feels like MBL, maybe one engagement away from Hart losing everything, depending on how the conversions go, because the monks save Hart here. MBL getting fletching. I'd love to see Bodkin. Yeah, the castle's going to protect a lot more with these upgrades. The trebs are in organ range. That treb is. Oh, geez. Trebs and villagers in harm's way. MBL is five relics. I could have sworn there was seven. But maybe it was six, and I got it wrong the previous game. Villagers repairing. Organ guns are insane. And Hart hasn't lost this castle yet. He hasn't lost his organs yet. He could only potentially lose his organs against the Manganels here. MBL still making Karambits. A low HP infantry unit. Gunpowder has a bonus against infantry. 
And it's going to be elite organ gun. What? Oh, shoot. This is fascinating. MBL's got the position. But Hart's got the unit. I wonder... And, and elite organ guns should do a lot more damage to Mangan So I think MBL would actually need Onager now. And block printing, of course, means the monks like heavily outrange the Manganels, so the Manganels get converted. I think this is doable for Hart. Uh, MBL's strategy is going to be the same thing, I think. Karambits and Castle Drops. Karambits and Castle Drops sounds like an album for that group we talked about. Elite Organ Gun cannot be stopped here. Do not engage, MBL. Do not engage. Don't do it. Oh my god! Jeez, dude, no! Where'd they go? Where'd they go? Where'd they go? Where'd they go? They're gone! It was like two volleys and 50 units died. Unit's insane! Nerfed unit, by the way. Blacksmith for hard as he might think about upgrades for other things. You don't need upgrades for the organs. You just need to have the, the elite upgrade, obviously. A Krambits do take up half a population space. But still, I mean, you know, you collect resources in a game, you, you gotta make army that works here, and MBL hasn't found that answer. Jeez, man, that was just brutal. Yeah, it is it is the weakest potentially the weakest unit in the game against them. Well, I would say like Spearman. <laughs> uh Turk Spearman, maybe, would be like the weakest against them, or militia or something. Kramitz are at least faster. I'm surprised MBL didn't consider something like Onager, but then again, the monks are there. It's just so tricky, man. It's like anything you could suggest right now, Portuguese can counter. People are always going to ask, by the way, are, are we going to see a Feitoria from Portuguese? Feitoria takes up too much pop space. Hart's eco is really good right now. Um, I think he's going to be fairly happy with how things go. And, and listen, MBL now, he realizes I've got to avoid those organs. We've got to move to other areas here. So this castle's really nice. He's going to try and petard in. And petard goes down. Hart could deny this castle. But Karambits are starting to raid. Now this is what I'm I'm really liking for MBL now. Use the Karambits as a raiding unit, not as your main army. And then you can figure out the main army later. I don't know if there was a draft... If this is like a volunteer thing when it comes to the army, if they're being paid, I don't under I don't know how it all works out here. But I would not volunteer to fight for MBL. I do not want to be a spearman or a skirmisher or a karambit in MBL's army. <laughs> uh uh, being an organ gun seems like a pretty secure job right about now. And remember the context of this series too, right? Hart's got some confidence. And Hart also will have realized that MBL had a lead. And this isn't over. And obviously picked Portuguese because he thinks this, this civilization's got almost an unstoppable, unkillable comp. And, and MBL's going to try and go monks here. It's That's a lot of clicking. Now MBL's amazing with monks. But let's say you have 10 monks and you convert 10 organs. So what? There's 25 more. And MBL also showing stables now, which is, might make Hart think it's going to be like elephants or something. So that surprise is kind of gone. Very interesting. Well, MBL's pushing here, though. Whoa! So this is now the area that MBL stalls in, and this is the area he pushes. Wow! Ooh, I actually like this a lot. Another castle for MBL. And Hart is going to have to come over to deal with this. Oh man, Hart's organs have killed both of MBL's Bombard Cannons. Oh no. That hurts. Well played Hart. Hart takes the score lead. And now he can shift his Bombard Cannons and his Monks and his organs and eventually that trip. Um, over to deal with this castle. And this castle looks kind of you well, it's not useless i don't see it being that good right now and bl could convert the organs and the bombard cannons all of this is siege redemption is in mbl has a lot of monks and a lot on gold he's got 56 on gold 
Art has 46 on gold. Can anyone tell me if Portuguese get heresy? I think they do. Two bomber cannons got converted. With 1k gold, Hart should be getting heresy. I recall Yo getting heresy in a crazy comeback game against Jordan at one point on Arena. Heresy would be more than worth it here, I think. It makes sense a player like Hart might not value that. I think it's still underrated by most pros. 1,000 gold, so when your units get converted, they don't switch sides? That could, could be a good choice. So we'll see how it goes. A villagers running away for MBL. Hart is going to steamroll MBL here. I don't see an option to stop this. If MBL would have done it already... It, it, sorry, if he would have done it, he would have done it already. This is crazy. Hart's going light cav, which is going to be great against the monks. He's also queued up a militia. Thank you for that, Hart. This is looking tough for MBL. The raids on the sides have to have to be effective for him. I wonder how many Karambits he's made in this game. I think we're close to like 80 or 90 here. 80, 90, 100. I know they're cheap, but that would be costly. Heresy, dude. At Heresy, you don't need to respect these monks. You just go right in and kill them. And then you're killing, you would kill like 700 gold worth of monks. I guess we're going to see the same thing happen anyways. MBL does have more gold income than heart. MBL's got this gold. MBL can't take this gold right now, but neither can heart. Dang. T90, first stream. You made me download AOE last month after maybe 18 years of not playing the game. Decided to look for you on here because of the YouTube vids and thanks for bringing me back. Uh, more years than I'd like to admit, lol. <laughs> You've been watching for more years than you'd like to admit? Uh, don't be ashamed. Everyone else is in the same boat. We're all in 2023 watching a dead game. Okay, elephants is interesting. And Malay elephants are very cheap. And uh, so you can make quite a few of them here. And MBL's position... He's kind of given him some time here. Now, he showed the stables earlier, but, like, what are you going to do if you're Hart? You probably don't want to go Pikes because... Uh, ma mainly because of your Popped. But also because uh, MBL can make Karambits. MBL's making the stables here. Can Hart see this? Hart can't see that, funnily enough. MBL could maybe do this with Elephants. The Battle Elephants are really strong. And... Monks could be great against elephants, but there's not that many monks. Has MBL found the answer? All right, people, say the phrase. Say the phrase. Say the liar phrase if you know it. That's what MBL's about to say, all right? He's about to say it. He's not going to say it. I guarantee you neither of these players know it. And if you don't know it, look up the legend of the liar. Your life will be changed. Hey, man, I meant to pick Magyard. Here come the elephants! And now, let's see how Hart reacts to this. Obviously, organs have been very strong, but Hart lost that castle in the front of his base. He's just got one castle left. MBL has so many monks that can still convert some of these organs. And there go the elephants! Chonking away! Lightcav go in for the monks, a smart move from Hart. But the elephants aren't melting as quickly as the Karambits before them. And this can still be sustainable for MBL because MBL has the gold. He has the relic gold income. And Hart is being pushed back by battle elephants from Malay. The weakest battle elephants in the game, but they are also the cheapest. Everything's cheap with this civilization. Now, there go. Some of the elephants have switched sides. That's, that's a little awkward. That's actually slowed down the push significantly. But Hart's base is open, people. And uh, MBL did get Elite Karambit. He's got those, some of those units in there. That'll add up. That's awkward. And it takes away from the focus here, right? Nice shot from Hart. Hart has added more uh, light cav too. It's just, but it's just like having organs off of one castle. And like if the game goes on forever, MBL having five relics bodes very well for him. So I like the elephant play and I like his resources and Hart is zero on gold. And as good as these elite organ guns are, Hart had to fall back massively in this game to be able to maintain this mass. It's very slow. And you don't play this game for the KD, guys. It's not Call of Duty. You play it for the win. 
But I guess it depends what mode you're playing in Call of Duty. You, you get my point, all right? We all know that guy that's camping in the corner with a sniper that never leaves. <laughs> Basically, depending on how many, how much I've drank when I play, that's me. <laughs> but hey, I have the self-awareness to make fun of myself, and that's what's important. The heart is out of gold. We've got Karambits, an elephant still pushing forward, monks behind it for MBL. MBL has not finished off heart. What I would have really liked in that moment is like right when you push heart back, send like 10 elephants into the eco. The Karambits in the eco I think is easier to accomplish, but 10 elephants in the eco is a little bit more devastating. He didn't shot MBL? Huh? Is this a Tuesday? Heated shot coming in for MBL. It could be relevant. Uh, towers and castles do more damage versus ships. Uh, I, I'm going to assume still he meant to click something else. And by the way, the organs and the monks are pushing back the elephants. Hard has converted a lot of elephants here. And Hard is not finished. But that that is not a tech that really benefits MBL. Big bomber cannon shots. Big conversions. And MBL's right back in this. And big, big shots. The working gun masses down to 16. 16 is not enough. Light Cav will go through. Ultimately will die, but will take monks with them. Hart has to push this position, though. Even if Hart took out, like, just this castle so we could get this gold that's worth it. I actually think in these moments, Hart should just have villagers mining there. What the worst that's going to happen is you're going to lose them. You have 140 vills. Like 70 on wood. I think you got to try and get stuff. It's so funny how strong and weak these Malay elephants feel at the same time. <laughs> it's the same with Karambits, right? It's like... <laughs> it's like, oh, they're so good. Oh, they're so bad. Oh, they're so good. It's a bit like uh, how I feel when I play the game. Oh, I'm so good. Oh, I'm so bad. Oh, I'm so good. Malay's like... Just a is just the perfect <laughs> the perfect example of that. The trebs and elephants coming in from this side. So now elephants into the core of Heart's Eco at this point. He shifted away. And man, so many monks around. The heart's still in this. Heart is a nice little pop lead. Still 17 organs. So he just lost a bunch, but. He had like 60 kills on those 17 organs before he lost a few of them. Still feels like this game is 10 times harder to play from Hart's position. Even if he adds Fatorias, like, I'd prefer to have 5 relics versus, well, what is now 0 and have all my pop space freed up than have a Fatoria or two at this stage. Even though the Fatoria does bring in all resources. MBL should wall the relics. Um. I think, I think you just keep pressuring here. I think Hart is a couple minutes away from being fully broken. He, he can't really defend his eco easily. He doesn't have a, many castles. MBL's streaming elephants into the right spots. MBL doesn't need this gold right now. Actually, he, he could use it, but like, you know, he, he could take it periodically. Hart really can't. There's lots of red dots amongst the blue. And again, MBL's first two games... It was just the type of game where if you know Hart, he's super comfortable. Trap from MBL! Trap from MBL! Trap! Trap him! Okay, well, it was the beginning of a trap, but I think he didn't want the light cab to go through. So he was house walling here, folks. He didn't want the light cab in his eco. Especially in a regicide game, because the king could maybe be sniped. MBL's going for the king! What a legend! Nobody goes for the king. MBL... Going for Hearts King here. It's not Exploding Kings, because it's not community games, but the King has been in that tower. Does Hart realize this? Or is he distracted? Ah, oh, you freaking... You freak... Hart, I know you were dead anyways, but why would you do that to us? That is the biggest... I... I would do the same. I, I would do the same. Let's be honest. All right, no one wants to be on the other end of the casters freaking out about a king snipe. I would do the same. Her, I don't blame you. You were dead anyways. GG, great game. MBL finally gets one on the board here. We'll need to win two straight. That was a fun one.
That was that was the best game of the series thus far. Okay, because we saw something different. A really fun map. Um, I you know, initially I was very worried for MBL. I think a lot of players are stubborn here and they never go for elephants, guys. I, as much as like as simple as maybe that seems for those of you that know how cheap the elephants are, a lot of pros don't want to do that with the Malay. And that was what changed the game for MBL. Also, while he was losing ground here, he did a really good job to shift to hold this area. This gold afforded him, or allowed him to afford a lot of things here. So that was that was a good play. Obviously getting the relics super early as well, which comes back to the water. Um, you know, the whole way through that one, it definitely felt like MBL had a little bit more of an edge. So good stuff. Uh, do Malay get heresy? I don't think any Civ that makes elephants gets heresy. Malay might be the exception, but um, no heresy research by either player in that game. Oh, Malay do get it. Okay, all right. But Malay are the only elephants that get heresy, I think. We didn't see heresy, but uh, MBL collected 21,000 more resources. Again, a lot more gold control. It wasn't all from the relics. And uh, we'll see what those home maps are for Heart. But MBL still alive in the series. All right, folks. So this this is a really important moment in this game because on this map players normally go for an early dock um we'll see what they do we've got mbl here he's obviously down to one in a best of five against a buddy and teammate of his he knows well in heart uh the map still working on the pronunciation but it's langanati is that it i think langanati i'll look it up later it honestly didn't really do any fact checking before the stream today but I've seen quite a few, and I can break down the map if I can't break down the pronunciation. So, obviously, you've got wood around the outside here, okay? That is safer. But you then have the option to take wood here, which could open up some access to the gold. Now, I'm surprised that MBL is doing this, because if you think about how much you need wood early, you need wood a lot more than you might need this gold. Uh, when you have this gold and this gold at home. So if MBL starts to have wood issues, could be because he decided to take the wood here, but obviously he's thinking long term with going specifically to the gold area. Um, also, is the gold always visible? Hmm, your golds are always visible. Interesting, I, I didn't know that aspect. Uh, water in the middle. And we see both players now going up for a dock. Uh, there's also shorefish uh, around the dock. So what a lot of players are doing is bringing two vills because it's safer. You build the dock with two vills, and then the villagers walk back and forth with the shore fish and are then next to the dock. Uh, there's only three fish in the middle. Uh, there's three tuna here. So I don't know if that guy who was a little aggressive towards me uh, three hours ago. Four, five hours ago? I've been live for five hours? Wow. I don't know if, if tuna guy is still here, but tuna guy, there you go. There's your tuna in the middle. I didn't realize I've been live for that long. Man. Sheesh, we're killing it, guys. Coffee's really coming in clutch here today. Um, okay, so Barry's also around the TC. Uh, Hart's got some llamas. That makes no difference. It's just he's from Peru, so I think pointing that out is funny. And Berber's Malians. I think Malians are superior because of the amount of wood buildings that they uh, utilize and are utilized on this map and how everything's cheaper. But the Berbers have faster vills, which could be helpful in some ways, and very cheap calf, which could also be helpful, as I've seen a lot of scouts on this map. Uh, any questions otherwise, guys? Also, I, I would love to possibly have some updates on some of the other results. Uh, so viewers, if you don't mind, since the qualifiers got all these simultaneous games happening, could I have people maybe pass along some of the results and some of the other sets in this qualifier right now? That'd be really cool. Um, and then I could talk about it, and you guys who don't want to look at chat don't have to, so you're good. Um, Vince just lost to Sato. Okay, Sato beat Vince 3-1. Nice result for Sato. Okay. Thank you for that. Normally, I'd say spoilers, but it's like, there. I'm not going to cast those sets. Those sets are not going to be covered. Things are happening all the time with the way this qualifier works, so... Um, I'm, I'm personally... I want to be informed and kind of want to know. MBL is cutting through to this gold as well? He's going to run out of wood, right? Well, but T90, he saves wood with Malians. That may be true. Doubt beat Classic Pro 3-1. Did, did he beat him, or is that a prediction? 
Wow. So, I, I mean, what I've seen is, in all the other games I've watched from this, players do what Hart's done, and then eventually they cut through to that gold. But rushing it this early, your villagers are also more exposed. That's pretty wild to me. And Hart, he did scout this. So Hart will know about that. But he probably won't assume this is happening. Again, it's not bad. I just like, look how close he is to running out of wood here. And this is going to be at a crucial time. So I'm kind of curious to see how this flows. And Hart's going to be checking the front of his base. Uh, we might see uh, someone go for a fire galley. I was listening to Nilly talk about this this morning. Nilly says he doesn't think it's worth it to add a fire galley here. Because there's not a lot of resources left. I don't know. I like the demo idea, but also the fire is kind of like something that you kill the fish long term and then eventually can take down the dock and it, like any amount of control is helpful. So, I mean, the demo also won't kill the fire. So, yeah, I think fire is the way to go. Fire makes way more sense. All the fish will die for one player and not the other. Okay, I, again, these villagers... Maybe MBL is going to build a mining camp there. Like, cut through the trees and then actually build a mining camp there. But it is an archer range opening from him. It is a stable opening from Hart, who obviously have a little bit more food in the middle. Just a little bit, though. 140 food. Still can use the dock to with villagers on shorefish. The faster Berber villagers kind of helps. Hart is never imagining MBL will ever be here. And MBL is going to go Spearman, Skirm. He's cutting through to gold, going trash units. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's just... <laughs> it's different, you know? <laughs> it's different. It, it's not clicking for me as a practiced thing. Which, you know, maybe, maybe you know, I, I heard hard talking as well. He said he wasn't training a lot for this. Uh, at least for the first qualifier, you know. Maybe whoever makes it, whoever gets killed off in this one, then really goes to training this week. I don't know, but... MBL loves his counter units. We talked about it in both game one and number two. And we also saw it not pay off for him in those games. This is definitely a little bit more Arabia-esque from Hart. And he knows now. And usually what you'll see is you'll see players at their own archery range to make their own skirms to deal with some of the spears now. Because this army doesn't really threaten villagers. This army obviously does. And what does that mean? MBL has got to make more spears. Make more spears in defense. Guys, this is so funny. MBL is super dead here if Hart knew he was there. One spear, everything dies. Hart is looking for the other wood line because no one would be crazy enough to double lumber camp because of how inefficient it's going to get. <laughs> Hart's like, I didn't see anything back here. What is going on? That's funny to me, especially because this is rather close to where Hart was. All right, nice micro from Hart. He tries to pull MBL out of position with the spears, and MBL pays close attention to that. And MBL's scout goes down. And especially Berber villagers can kind of fend this off fairly easily. It's it's not fun, but like your villagers are not going to die to that army. And I'm liking Hart's position right now. I, I think that the flow of the game made a lot more sense for him thus far. But it is MBL. MBL hasn't taken significant losses. And I he's going to go scouts now. He's got five scouts in queue. And actually, Hart doesn't know about this. Hart did a full run around to the base. Hart might not expect scouts because he never knows where to look for it. Maybe the MBL didn't know about the wood line in the back. I I don't know. Um, it, you know, I would say, like, if that's the case, it's inexcusable. The strategy itself, whether I agree or disagree, I think this is a clear example of why it's probably not good. Um, but that would be inexcusable. I probably knew about the wood in the back. I think that he just, you know, really valued this. And it is a valuable area of the map. It's just, it's interesting to see it on both sides. MBL does have spears here. Hart taking some hits. He's reacting at home right now. MBL's aggression coming in. Hart had to defend. 
Heart goes for some quick walls and drops a tower here. Heart was not accounting for any scouts showing up from MBL, like we said. MBL also dropping a tower here. Beautiful micro here from Heart. Uh, Heart will end up killing these spearmen. They are Malian spearmen, so they do have a little bit of extra pierce armor, which helps a bit more. And MBL's trash army kind of starting to overwhelm Heart a little bit. And again, it's like, the, the beauty of MBL is this is his comfort. No one else really plays like him. But, like, you can't change him, right? He's been around for 10 years. You, you can't teach an old MBL new tricks. He's here, and he's at his level, and he's accomplished what he has throughout his career because of how all over the place he is. And, you know, if he were to try and play with the timings and the build orders and the cleanliness of other players, you know, maybe he, it wouldn't suit him. I don't know. I think there's a middle ground, right? MBL is notoriously not trained enough, in my opinion. There's a middle ground to be found, but this is kind of... Look at Hart's Woody Co. Hart's full Loey the Legend Stragor training right now. So it's it's definitely putting Hart in an awkward position. So I'm excited to see how this goes. Hart is bringing everything home to try and deal with this. He's going to try and use the Skirms against Spears and the Scouts against everything else. feel like MBL... If anyone's used to microing the Spear Skirm army, would be superior. But Hart also plays against MBL 10 times a day on the ladder, so he's probably used to it. And, oh, this is this is a really good fight for Hart. Yeah, this is a really good fight for Hart. Actually, I can't quite tell because MBL Spears are in there too, but I just saw all of MBL Spears go down. And yeah, that's a perfect clear up from Hart. Very well executed. 2-1 to one KD. That's not easy. And behind this... Both players thinking about Castle Age. Okay, so tower and wood here. Tower and wood here. <laughs> You're still like... Like, these lumber camps make me so upset! <laughs> wood collected is actually still kind of okay. What is he gonna just like... Fully chop all the trees around the gold? I mean, he's freed up the gold. And Hart's still working on the other smaller gold, so we'll see. I still think it's so interesting that Hart will never expect in a million years that MBL would actually be there. I think the tower from MBL might actually shoot at something that Hart goes past and let Hart know. But, like, Hart's got to full focus all of this right now. Dang. MBL needs to win this. And if he does win this, it goes to Northern Isles. Could be a fun map. Is a fun map. Good little water action. And MBL won the last time. The previous game when there was a bit of water action with his melee. Hart will be up a bit later than MBL. MBL's food eco is worrying. But he has not had balance this game. MBL is about to be taking gold in three different locations. It's like if you stop me in one, I still have the other. Maybe that's the logic. Good fighting back from MBL to push back the skirms. But in the end, Hart will be in Castle Age with amazing eco balance to go for stable units. MBL's got 10 on food. Hart has 18. And a lot of these newer farms too have horse color, so they will last a very long time. MBL's wide open. You're now in a position where you need to defend three different areas because of how you open this. Whereas for Hart, he defends his base. That's it. If you, you fight out, you have all these different areas to poke at, and then you're not vulnerable against pressure. It's super smooth for Hart to play the game from here. MBL is just like full chaos mode, and we'll see where he, he builds his TC. Oh, okay. All right, well, he chopped enough so he could drop a TC there. I like that. Especially because Hart doesn't know about this. Heart. Let's see. Chasing down MBL. MBL, don't show him this area. I don't know if MBL realizes. Don't show him this area down here. Don't give Heart another target. Go to the monastery, but not this area. TC goes up. Well, guys, you know, listen. MBL has access to long term gold. Heart will eventually run out of gold and hasn't chopped through yet. 
I am beginning to feel a little foolish for possibly judging MBL's thinking. Look at this, right? He's like, all right. He's checking this, right? He's paying very close attention to it. And Hart has gold, and he has more than enough gold to work with for now, but he needs to start chopping on these areas now. And maybe that's the one weakness from Hart. He's been too safe. He's got to drop a TC in the very back. They, they basically both gone for opposites, which is pretty wild. Oh, I didn't know you could squeeze a TC in there. Is that supposed to happen? Does anyone know? I don't think you're supposed... I could be wrong, but I would guess the way this map is designed, you're not supposed to... Maybe maybe you can everywhere. I don't know. But that is like... The, it seems like the one spot where the TC can fit, and that's actually huge for Hart. I thought you had to lumber camp it first. Like, we'll have to look at that, but that seems really good for Hart, and it's not like that the whole way around. It won't take Hart that long to chop through, and Hart... With the better army, he's had the better eco. He's had the gold. He's not in a. He's not hurting for the gold right now. He clears up everything there. The monks for MBL can't compete with the skirms, and we've got 14 camels here for Hart. And MBL has three TCs, but his eco is completely split off here. Yeah, I, this is surprising. Like you couldn't fit a TC here, here, here. You can't build on this terrain. So that's why I'm saying that. I actually kind of want to test that. I would my my theory is that it is the the design of the map, it is unintended, but it's not a bug. Does that make sense? There's probably rare instances where you can occasionally TC there. So, but apparently there's variance to it, which in that case really helps Hart. Yep, it is tile perfect, exactly. I'm surprised Hart left the monasteries here. But maybe, I guess, MBL's got a lot of monks. He doesn't want to lose the camels. Makes sense. MBL, 64 villagers. More than Hart. Has the gold. Hart is buying food and wood. Look at the prices! What did you just do, Hart? Hart didn't realize. I, I guarantee he's like, I need food and wood for eco upgrades. And he instinctively bought it. Look at the prices. Because MBL's been leaning on that market all game. 319 gold for 200 food, 260 gold for 200 wood. I guess it did total it all, so it seems a bit more than I initially thought, but still. Yeah, he's at Whole Foods right now. It's for Whole Foods prices. <laughs> skirms from Heart. This is a good move from him to try and use the Skirms against the monks. But MBL's going to have six monks. The Skirms are all going to get pushed back. And what a game, people. Hart still isn't through to the gold. But again, the timing seems good. He's He's it got 600 gold left here. He does also have a relic. We'll show the res collected here. The Hart's got a significant lead with food. And it just like all stems back to the initial decision with the wood. Because wood equals food, right? Wood equals food long term with farms. MBL had crappy wood situation, but he's had all the gold. So he's got a good gold situation. A good gold situation can lead to making lots of monks, and monks can then convert all the other units. Part has a light calf. And so MBL needs a little bit more fluff in here. He needs a little bit more camel action. Spearmen even. Just anything to block off those monks, because the light calf... If they take those monks out of the equation, Hart wins. Hart's got a massive camel number. Also, Hart banking up stone. I really like the balance from Hart. The timings from Hart. Everything has felt practiced. Has felt well thought out. MBL has done basically everything I would not have expected in this game. And the like have dive. Hart's got enough of them. If he kills enough monks, he will win the fight. And he will win this fight. He's got the same upgrades as MBL, but he's got more camels. And while that monk goes down, if it's a camel war, Berbers have the cheap ones. And Hart loses another monk there. The fight wasn't totally convincing, so he's a little bit concerned. And so he just drops a castle more defensively, but that also opens up the opportunity for Camel Archer. And does protect this gold, which he's still super close to chopping through to. Nice job there from Hart. Another light cav tries to get a monk, but fails. So MBL is trying to fix the food in Woodyco, and Hart is trying to fix the gold part of things right now. 
Hmm. Uh, you know, I, I'm, again, to, to repeat myself, liking Hart's position. Am curious on if he wants to go for Camel Archers, because, like, actually hasn't finished this castle yet. Actually, there was a Manganel there, real, real quick. T90 blinds moment, sorry. MBL popped out to try and deny this. Only kill the villager, but it's important to show you. Um, that's why Heart moved. Castle goes up. Siege Workshop will go down. No fletching for Heart, so I don't think he actually wants to make Camel Archers right now. But uh, actually, as I say that, he's making them. Camel Archers are one of the best unique units in the game. They do cost gold, though. <laughs> so uh, Heart's going to have to work on that. Hart also, this monk is like very undecided. He's looking at the little puddles and the little flowers, and he thinks it's a trap. He's like, I don't know, I put on a couple pounds since COVID. If I step into that, will I sink? How swampy is that? It looks too inviting. I don't know if I can trust it. There's no enemy here either. This does not seem safe. Hart's going to rewatch this later, skim through the VOD to see all the good things I'm saying about him and see that. So hello, Hart. Um, <laughs> I like how El Samino Prime sub right then. Was that what did it for you? Hey, there we go. Is he going to fall? Nope. <laughs> Someone says bro got new white sneakers. <laughs> it doesn't want to get the new... It doesn't want to get the new kicks dirty. Oh, uh, that's funny. I love the like have activity from heart. You don't want to raid with camels anyways, right? And there's going to be monks around. So good raids with the like have. The castle pretty much protects you at home. And there's been a shift in how MBL views his future here. And that is now Trebor. MBL's going to bring villagers. He's going to drop a castle close by to all of this. And he wants to go Imperial Age. That is his plan. And it's probably his best plan to get out of this hole. Because, um, you know, otherwise this could be problematic. Hart, are you serious? Against MBL? Against MBL, Hart? Like have we're a little late. Oh, but MBL didn't have them all control grouped and Hart was serious. As serious as a heart attack and MBL loses like 12 monks. Loses everything there and he's on his way to the Imperial Age, but he wants a castle in a good position. And he needed those monks. He needed his army of some kind. But again, comes right back to that food eco from Hart. Hart has had perfect food eco. He's got the gold, right? So that's never been a concern. There's never been a single point in this game where we've said, oh no, Hart doesn't have gold. There was just always that chance. And now Hart says, "You did someone order a forward castle? All right, let's do it. Express delivery. Here we go. Forward castle. I actually do not like the energy behind this castle. I would really like to see the castle either here, fully denying the gold, or here, straight up in MBL's face. But it's like a half-energy castle. It's still a good castle. If only he knew MBL was dropping this castle behind this, because he would deny this. Yeah, he has the army to deny this one right now. Camel archers will kill all of MBL's army, but I mean... There is a chance for MBL if Hart doesn't click up to Imp. Because now MBL can treb that. He still can't defend the rest of his eco from all this army. Hart's got crazy army count, but still. I guess this castle does kind of range some of the gold, but... You know, MBL's got this gold too. Just gonna be monks and trebs, and then, you know, eventually MBL will transition. And Hart invested a lot into the camel archers, the upgrades. Light cab can happily sit underneath his TC. You can only fit so many villagers in the TC, right? So the rest of the villagers will not have a place to hide. MBL will lose tons of vills here. And, you know, to refocus on what I was saying, like, Hart has looked the much better player today. Um, I think a great example, in the game Hart lost, the game went to Imp and went back and forth. Hart was behind at various points. Hart had fight in him, right? He, he found a way to make it competitive. When Hart gets ahead... He stays ahead, and that's been the flow. But, like, it's a weird positive to, to have here. But, like, the approach on this map felt very unpracticed to me. So, you know, that 
that there's there's lessons to be learned with a second qualifier next weekend for MBL, right? And that that you know, it, it, to me, when they both saw the matchup, they were like, "Well, let's just see what happens, right?" And take it from there, and then maybe we can adapt more for qualifier two because they knew how good both of them are. Um, anyways, I mean the Trebs out now for MBL, but like that is. That is his life savings right there. Like, he's retired for this Treb and this Treb alone. And the Treb's gonna go down. Oh, jeez. I mean, he basically ran out of resources repairing that Treb. He's got a new one. All right. He's got a new one. Um, Imp's on the way for Hart. Hart can obviously make endless amounts of units. And MBL realizes and MBL wishes him luck. Uh, a fun series. I think MBL will look at certain things today and say, oof, yeah, that's Civ here or there. Maybe you need to take this approach slightly differently. I think he'll learn a little bit from it and come back stronger for the next qualifier. MBL's a great player, but seriously, the scene is really strong, and there's a lot of players who are practicing nonstop over the last couple of weeks, and you know, I didn't see that from MBL's games today. Hart's approach on virtually every map looked very good, even the game that he lost on the... Um, What's the word? Um, Copenhagen map. And Hart is definitely one of the favorites to potentially qualify for NAC5, which is what the series was for. Uh, we'll look at that bracket in a second and see uh, what the lies in store for Hart here in a second. But very well played to Hart. Um, didn't see a lot of torny jitters or nerves either. It felt like, uh, you know, just another day for him. Showed up, did his work, got the job done, which isn't easier said than done, right? 10k more res collected there from Hart in that game. And I don't know. I just... The double lumber camp thing is weird. But, like, back to the TC thing for a second. Again, I don't think it's intended that you can actually TC there without chopping wood. Maybe... Maybe it can happen, though. Like, maybe... Could MBL TC here? Maybe? I'd almost need to load up a game. No, 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 no. I don't think you can do it anywhere here. Um... I don't know. That's something to look for, you know? I, I don't know. I haven't... I don't know what the map was designed to be like. But it was kind of interesting to see Hart actually found the TC spot, which actually made it much easier for him to protect that area as he was chopping through to the gold. So... Hart's second TC fit as well. What? Uh, now he like kind of squeezed the, the TC over here, right? On the wood. His second TC wasn't that great. 